What's going on, DMG clan? Today I'm going to show you guys how to play some PS2 or PlayStation 2 on your Asus Rogue Ally using Emulation Station via Emudeck. So let's level up our gaming knowledge and show Kratos who's boss. All right, mobile gamers. So the very first thing you need to do is download the PS2 BIOS file that I linked in the description below. I'm going to change my gamepad mode just for the sake of this part to my desktop mode. If you don't know how to do that, just click your hotkey for your command center and then just change it to desktop. Now, when you download this file, this has multiple different files that we're going to need to actually extract into our main emulation BIOS folder. So if you put your main emulation BIOS folder on an external SD card like I did, then that's where we're going to basically extract it to. So just check it. I like to check it like this. Click extract all. Now we can navigate to the folder of choice. So I'm going to click browse. I'm going to navigate down to my external SD card. Go to emulation. Go to BIOS. And then you're just going to extract it into the main BIOS folder. There's no actual folders that we have to extract it into. So just select that folder. Click extract. Now all of those PS2 files or all those BIOS files, which are bin files, are located right here. These are both for European, Japanese, and for USA or NTSC style games. Now, that's all we have to do for that section. So we can just close down that manager. Now we're going to go to this PC. We're going to go to OS. Navigate to Users. Go to your username. Navigate to Emudeck. Emulation Station. And Emulators. Now we're going to navigate to PC sx2 qt you're going to open up pc sx qt and this is going to be where all of your games are located now you're going to go to settings you're going to navigate to graphics now this is all up to preference i like to change my aspect ratio to widescreen 16 by 9 and again that is up to you also, if you want to enable widescreen patches, you can turn that on as well. I don't touch any of that. Rendering, I go about five times native, which looks really good. And that's all up to preference as well. So if you want to leave it at three times, it'll work perfectly fine at 1080p. I think 1080p is actually almost perfect enough. But if you want to crank it up a bit, it's PlayStation 2. You should be perfectly fine with doing that. So I'm going to leave it at 3x because it does render most games very well at that standard texture replacement so i'm not going to get into all that kind of stuff with this video that's all up to if anybody wants me to do anything like that down the road post processing i'm not going to touch any of that either render i'm going to leave it at vulcan so i'm not going to set automatic i'm going to select vulcan my adapter is going to be my amd radeon graphics and that is about it. Now, I don't really need to touch anything in regards to uh, the emulation for the speed or anything like that. Uh, audio, you don't need to really touch anything. Interface, that's nothing there either. There's nothing else really in here. I guess you can set up your achievements if you want to, if you have uh, retro achievements. But I don't have retro achievements, and that's all up to you. I just like to show you where these folders are. So let's close this down. Now we're going to go back into our system settings and we're going to go navigate to our controllers. Click on controller port one. Now turn off your desktop mode for the time being and navigate to gamepad mode. Click clear mapping, click yes, click automatic mapping, click X input mode, and then it'll automatically map your buttons based off of what the PS2 controller looks like. So your X is down here, circle down up here, triangle and square. Now, I like to do it this way just to make sure that those configurations are already set. I know that's kind of a convoluted method, but that's why I do it this way. I like to also show you that you can set up different profiles based off of how you like it. And you can also set up your own button layouts if you want to as well. Now we're going to click close. Now we're going to click exit. We're going to exit again. Now I'm going to show you where you're going to put your games. You're going to go to your SD card, go to emulation, ROMs, and then you're going to look for the folder that's PSX or PS2, which is right here. And that's where all my PS2 ROMs are. Click exit. 
go to emulation station navigate to ps2 now i'm gonna open up some good old god of war and as you noticed yes this is a pal region game but i think this game looks really really well at 3x resolution you can try to crank up the graphics a bit if you really want to but 3x resolution on this device i think looks amazingly fine if you ever think about what ps2 games look like back in the day you're not getting this kind of resolution out of those so that's about it if you want to exit your game just click start and select at any time it'll exit the game right out back into emulation station and then you can go play some harry potter philosopher's stone have a nice day guys if you like this sort of content and enjoy my tutorials as i try to make them as easy as possible then subscribe to the channel or become a member select english so you know how to play your game see you next time I love you all Bye -bye.